Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how the use effect hook is used and we're going to make just a quick simple little project and this is going to be the project. It's just a simple counter that just counts on the plus and the negative but I just have a little alert in saying then the numbers can't be less than zero. And to make this work, we're using the use state hook that's going to store state for us. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, can you please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button. If you like the content I'm producing and you want to see more videos like this, coding with React and JavaScript, HTML, CSS, uh, I produce videos weekly. I appreciate your support. Okay, so to get started on this app then, I'll just close this for a minute. So what I have done so far is I've just done an npm or npx create react app. I've got the react boilerplate template set up. So I'm just going to start cleaning up the files here now and we'll get going. Okay, so just going to make this a bit smaller. Okay, let me do this. Okay. Okay. So this is our boilerplate React app set up. So I'm just going to start cleaning up the files and folders. Okay, so app to test. I want to delete that. Don't need that. Index.css, I'm going to delete that. SVG logo. And you'll see that we're getting errors here. That's just because I can't find the files I'm after deleting and it's looking for them. We'll fix that now. Um, so in our index, we get rid of this and in our app CSS we're going to take out everything between our main div get rid of this here now you can see we're just on a on our blank canvas there now um okay so we're going to be showing you how to use the use state hook and how the use state holds um, state for us. Probably one of the most important hooks of them all, use state. And I'm going to be using Bootstrap in this project just to style it up a bit. And Bootstrap is very quick and easy to get something up and, up and running. So I'm going to install the React dependent or the Bootstrap dependency first. So to do that then just go to react bootstrap github page and to get started okay to get started we need to do an npm install react bootstrap bootstrap so we'll just copy that okay so we'll come down to our terminal paste in that okay we'll just let that install there now okay so once that's installed then if we go to our package json file in our dependencies we see react bootstrap okay now in the documentation for the react it says we need to import it in our index.js or our app.js file so i'm going to go to the app.js file i'm just going to copy this line of code here i'm just going to paste it in here okay import bootstrap save that 
Okay, so to use the use state then we need to import it from React. So we're just going to import use state. So to do this, just say import use state. Then we're going to import it from React. Okay, we just get the main um, layout of the counter set up first. So we go back to our counter. Okay. So for our bootstrap, then just going to import. What I'll, what I'll be using in here is going to be using the alert. And we want to be using a button from bootstrap. And we'll be going to use a card and the container and we're going to import all them from react bootstrap okay so down inside in our function then okay so i'm just going to bring in the container first Inside this container, we're going to give it a class name. I'm going to just use some bootstrap classes in here. So I want to display flex. I want to justify the content center. And align the item center. Going to give it a width of 100. I'm going to give it a height of 100, and we're going to display it as the flex column. Okay, so for the body. Of the container, I'm going to use. Uh, I'm just going to use a, a card. I'm just going to set some styles for this card now. So style is going to be equal to, and to do inline styling in React, we do a double set of curly braces. I'm going to set the width. I'm going to set the width to fifty percent. I'm going to text the line. It's going to be center. I'm going to give it a border of none. To give it a min min width. We're going to set the min width to two eight zero pixels. Okay. Just we'll just close that there for a minute and make this a bit bigger for the minute. Okay. Um, so that's our styles for our card. So inside in our card, um, we're going to set a header for it as well. So I'm just going to do card dot header. And for our, I'm going to set some style here also. So the style is going to be equal to, I'm going to give it a font size. Give the font size of two REM and font weight is going to be set to bold. I'm going 
we'll give the background color then we'll set the background color and we're going to set that to 90 90 90 and the uh, font color then is going to be equal to white okay and the text for our header is going to be counter okay so our car title then Set a style font size for font size is going to be five REM. I'm going to give this a bootstrap class then as well. Looks class name. Going to set this uh, margin bottom four. I'm just going to hard code in a value here until we get our U state working. Okay. So under our um, just get rid of that curly bracket there. Push it back here. Okay. So under our title, then we're going to have two buttons. Uh, the plus and the minus button uh, so we're going to use bootstrap button now uh, we're going to set some styles on these buttons too so the style have it in the wrong section so style So for the style, we're going to set a uh, um, uh, weight, 46%. And I'm going to set the text align center. Okay, and want to set some bootstrap style and then as well. So the variant is going to be equal to the danger. This is going to be the red button. I'm going to give it a size of large. Going to give it an on click function that will be setting up shortly. I'll put that in in a few minutes. Okay, just save that. Okay, um, so the text inside in the button, I'm going to use a strong tag. And it's going to be a minus. Okay, so we need two buttons. So I'm just going to copy this button I've created already. And I'm going to paste it in under here. And two differences. We're going to set the variant to success. And we're going to change to a plus. Okay. Uh, just in our app CSS, then just going to copy everything in here, delete that. We're going to set in our own. So the first bit is going to be um, margin zero, padding of zero, and box sizing order box. Okay, so on the our app class then I'm going to set a height of 100 VH 
a width of 100 view width and a background color of black okay and I'm just going to turn off some of the button effects in bootstrap so I'm going to target uh, a button and the focus state of the button I want the outline to be none and we need to set that to important because otherwise bootstrap will override it and I want box shadow to be none and we do the same thing important here again I just want to add a kind of a f an effect on it as well so I'll say that uh, btn I want to set a transition on the button I want to set the transition on the transform And we just want to run it quick, so 0 0.1 second. I would say ease out. And we're going to set that to important either as well. Sorry. So then when the button is in the active state, PT, PTN, and we'll say active. We want to transform. transform and we want to scale the button we want to say 0 0.98 and we need to set that into important as well okay save that then just go back to our application then and see is everything okay missing one button let's go back and see what's happened there okay Oh, we'll have to save all files. Save all. Okay, so our buttons are not lining up for us. We we'll just quickly go in and see what I've done wrong here. Card, card, card. Oh, we need to put, I forgot to do the card body. So we just wrap everything in a card dot body. Okay. Just cut this piece here. We'll close off our card here. Now, so we have our counter and our our buttons. Okay. So just a little trick then to push a space between the two buttons. Curly braces. Promise then push a space. Now, okay, um, I want the header to go the whole way across, so I'm just going to move this card that body, cut dash, and push it below the header. Now, okay, so we have our application done. You can see how useful Bootstrap is for quick and easy applications. You saw that didn't take very long at all just to get that help using a few Bootstrap commands so we get started with the uh, use stage then and we get all the functions working okay so we've after we were imported use state from react okay so we're going to set two pieces of state we're going to set account and we're going to set an alert so to do that then and use state will only work on function based components um, that are different than the class based components uh, a class has its own 
uh, way of using state. So use state will only work in function based components. So to, to start off then, we say use state Okay, so to use state, the way it works is it turn. There's always two pieces to the state. Um, it's an array. It return two things. It has the state and another how to set the state, and uh, you can set the initial state as well. So what it'll start out with. So I'm going to call this uh, first piece of state. I'm going to call it um, count. And the initial state, I want to give it a zero. And for our second piece of state, it's going to be a, a, a Boolean value. And that's going to be either true or false. And depending on whether it's true or false, it's going to have the alert at the top saying that we can't have numbers below zero. So I'm just going to copy down this. And I'm going to set this piece of state to alert. New state is, is really just setting variables and assigning something to them. And it can be anything. You can have objects, you can have arrays, uh, booleans, strings, anything. Okay, so we have two pieces of state now. We're after importing our new state from React, and we have, we have a count piece of state, and we have alert state. Okay. So we need to be able to set the state and we want to return the state as well. Instead of having the four here, I'm just going to say curly braces count. If we save that now, it changes to zero because initially we were after setting our state to zero. Okay, so we want to be able to use the buttons now to increase the numbers and decrease the numbers. So to do that then we're going to on our buttons, we're going to have some functions being called. Okay, so we're going to do the minus button first. Okay, so where have I the minus button? Okay, here. So we're going to set an on click here. And we're going to set the on click to a function that's going to return. So when we click this button, we want to call function on click. I'm going to create that now after I do this. And we want to pass it the minus sign. Okay. So scroll up to the top here now. Now. I'm going to set up our, our function here, but um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the two buttons first. So I'm just going to copy this. And down here, I'm going to set it on the plus button as well, but it's going to be plus. And I'm going to use a switch to, to know which to do. So if it sends the plus or the minus to either take away or, or add to it. So, okay. Are on, so we're just going to say const on click. I'm going to set that. I'm going to be passing through what type it is. It's going to be either addition or subtraction. So in here, we're going to say hop a switch. And we're going to be checking the type. Okay, and then we're going to say case. We're going to set the count. And we're going to set count minus one. So what's this, what this is doing then, we can see we have a, a set count up here. And it's going to take whatever the count is and subtract one from it. Okay, so then for our, we want to 
if that's true then we want to break out of it so we'll we'll do break inside our switch now the next part of our we want to check if it's uh, addition so case that we're going to do the same thing again we're going to set count and we're going to count plus one this time and then we just do our break okay save that and now we'll just check our buttons and see if it's working so do the plus button is adding for us we do the minus button the subtraction so basically we render the page it's going to be zero initially and then down here in our buttons we're calling an on click button for either a plus or a minus and in our case then if it's a minus we're going to set the count from our use state variable here and we're going to get the count to subtract one and likewise for the addition one we're going to set the count we're going to set the current count plus one okay so just to use our alert then our alert is going to be false to start off with okay now so down here in our card where we want it to return just here under the container so i'm going to use some javascript in here it's going to say alert and i'm going to use the double ampersand so this is saying but basically what this is uh, is saying if the alert is true i want to return this element so if the alert is true i want to return a, a bootstrap alert and inside the alert uh, i'm going to just style it here style is going to be equal to okay so the first piece is going to be the, going to set the width to 50 percent and I'm going to set the text to line. I'm going to set the text line to center. Just close this for a minute so we can see it better. Okay. I forgot my. Okay. And we want to set the font weight to bold and we're going to give this a min width of 280 pixels too. So the font weight going to be bold and the min width I said yeah, min width. Okay, so we save that now. Nothing happens because alert is false. So we just set it to true here, just for. I'm going to set the variant. It's going to be equal to danger. And the text for it is going to be number can not be less than zero now we save that when the alert is true we get the pop-up uh, the number cannot be less than zero but we don't want to be a, have to set that manually the whole time so i'm going to put in some functions here now that's going to do that automatically first so i'm just going to set this back to false originally we save that and now our our pop-up alert is is gone okay so to get this working in our switch we're setting the count equal to minus one and we're just going to do a, a condition in here i'm going to say if if the count is less than or equal to zero I want to set the count back to zero. So 
So if we run zero and we press the minus button, it's going to go to minus one. We don't want it to go to minus one, which we want to set it back to. Um, uh, we want to set it back to zero straight away. Okay, so we're going to set the alert. We're going to set the alert to true. Okay. So we'll just save that and try that out now. Plus, plus, negative, negative. So we'll go to a, a negative number then, and we get our, our pop-up, our alert. But we want that to go away after a few seconds. So after that then, after our set alert, when we're, after we're setting our alert to true, we're going to do a, a set timeout. And we're going to set it for two seconds. So we're going to set it to 2000 milliseconds because there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. And after two seconds, we want to set the alert. We to set the alert back to false. Save that now. So you can see in here we're setting our, our state a couple of times. So I hope I've given a good explanation on how the state can be changed. So when we have a negative figure, we're setting our count to minus one. When we have our a, a positive uh, click on the button, we're add, adding one to the number. And then to get our alerts, we're setting them from true to false. So you're basically you're setting your use state and you want your variable. So the variables are going to be the blue ones, like the the count and the alert. And to change them, then we call the the set count and the set alert. And that's basically it's as simple as that. Okay. So re refresh our project here now. I'm going to do some positive numbers. We go back down to one and. Now we get our alert, should and then it disappears after two seconds. So that's just a, a brief introduction to the use state hooks from React. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so I'll just maximize that now, and we'll just go through a few of this. Add a few numbers, we'll take away a few numbers, and then when we're on zero, we try to go below zero we get our pop-up and it disappears after two seconds and with the with bootstrap it should be mobile friendly it should be responsive so just make it bigger and smaller yeah everything seems to be working there so thanks for watching this video i really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos if you like the content i'm providing and would like to see more please hit the subscribe button i appreciate your support and really means a lot to me thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video